Sabi po niya, nagsabi ako, nagsabi na ako ng prangkahan na wag na wag na wag ninyong haluan ng kalokohan ang programa na ito sa COVID. Kasi kailangan ito at marami talaga ang nangangailangan ng tulong. At sinabi ko sa inyo, hindi ko kayo patatawarin pag nagkamali kayo. Okay? So I think that's very clear. Hindi lang po address sa DSWD yan. Address din po sa IATF yan. Address din po sa Kongreso yan. Address din po sa LGUs yan. But what happened in the last few months? Okay. First, bureaucratic. <clears throat> Too much requirement. Tedious yung mga proseso. Pangalawa, inadequate. Kahit anong ipamigay, kulang. Tatlo, slow. I'll show you the timeline mamaya. Pero nag-meeting kami ng inyong secretary March 21 sa Malacanang with the executive secretary. Pinasa namin yung batas March 23 to 24. Kailan nakuha ng tao yung ayuda? End of May. Insensitive to vulnerable sectors. Hindi naman po sa lahat ng lugar. Pero nakita nyo naman po sa TV, may namatay din na PWD kasi pinapila pa, pinapunta pa dun sa opisina sa City Hall. Uh, problems in corruption. So far naman hindi sa DSW dito lumalabas pero dun sa mga nag implement Six, high risk of contracting COVID-19. From the start, sinabi natin yung proseso natin will mitigate the risk. Pero dahil sa ilan... Uh, part ng proseso na ininsist ng DSWD, nagkumpulan ang mga tao, hindi po kami exempted dyan. Nung namigay po dito sa eskwelahan sa tabi po ng kongreso, all around Congress yung, yung pila. Duplication of beneficiaries, complaints posted in social media covered by the mainstream media, confusion among LGUs and barangays, and lack or breakdown of communication. Sasabihin ng isa sa IATF, dalawang beses bibigyan ng ayuda. Sabihin ng isa, isa lang. Sasabihin after, ibibigay pa rin, tapos hindi. So nakukonfuse ang tao. No? Sasabihin ng isang departamento, kailangan ang employer may sasakyan para makapasok employee. Sasabihin naman ng isang secretary, hindi, hindi kailangan mag-provide ang um, employer. I, I know it's difficult, but we have to have unified communication dito kasi kung hindi malilito talaga ang tao. So what, this is what we experience, but what is the Filipino people looking for? At the end of the hearing, this will be a successful hearing if we accomplish the following. First, efficient streamlined process. Second, sufficient, fast, responsive. Third, simple SAC or whatever form you want with least number of requirements. Four, fair and honest. Five, house-to-house -house distribution. Or kung meron na pong uh, electronic transfer, katulad sa four-piece, syempre mas maganda yon no contact. Six, transfer data monitoring system. Transparent data monitoring system. Seven, accessible grievance mechanism. And eight, Active coordination and communication by all stakeholders, including with the public. No? So, I'll go to specifics mamaya para hindi nyo naman po sabihin na yan po ay uh, general na complaints. Kasi alam kong gusto nyo rin ipakita yung nagawa nyo at marami din naman kayong nagawa. But ipapakita ko po sa inyo uh, mamaya yung ilan mga Uh, problema, no? Actually, nandiyan ba yung, ano, yung slide on the house-to-house? -house? Yung unang pre-propose? Oh, slide, please. Yan ang proseso na ginawa nyo. 30 steps. Yan po ay based sa guidelines na pinasan nyo sa DSWD. At during that time, nag-uusap tayo. Iniisa-isa natin. And then bigla niyong sinabing gagawin niyo na lang gusto niyo at may tumawag sa akin galing Malacanang pagbigyan muna kayo dahil yan ang tingin niyong tama. Pinagbigyan namin kayo pero winorningan namin. 
at nag-Zoom meeting kami ng mga kabinete kasama si Secretary Rolly. At sabi ko, Secretary, sana mali ako. Pero pag yan ang ginawa mo, dalawa, tatlong linggo, hindi pa kayo tapos. So, to be fair, uh, Yusek, nag-usap tayo, inamendahan natin yan. But still, ayaw nyo magbigay ng SAC form sa bawat isa. Hindi na namin in-insist. Kailan nyo nabigay yung yung social amelioration, end of May. Nag-uusap tayo niyan, March and start of April. Tapos hindi kayo magtataka, ba't galit ang tao? Hindi kayo magtataka, bakit galit ang uh, ating mga kababayan at ang kongreso? Di sana, hindi namin niratsyada yung batas. Sana one week namin ginawa yung batas, nilagay na namin sa batas yung procedure. Eh akala namin, we will continue to coordinate eh. Eh pag hindi, nagmarunong na. I don't know how many of your uh, how many of your regional directors now are career and how many are newly appointed. May I ask quickly, Yusek? Ilan ang newly appointed? Ilan ang career? Senior Yusek of DSWD. Yusek for administration. Ilan ang bago niyong Yusek? ay uh, direct, regional director, ilan ang uh, career? Pakipindot po. Pakipindot po. Ko, ko, if you don't have the exact number, okay. sir, I won't put you on the spot. But what? 80% are career? Uh, or? We have 16 regional directors right now, Your Honor, and uh, we have around uh, half of them are uh, career officials. Half of them are not career. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll go back to that point later on, but I think that's part of the problem because you are heavily relying on your uh, on your uh, regional directors, pero hindi naman sila career, so many of them don't know what to do. Okay, I'll go back to... You know, it was Father's Day yesterday, at gusto ko munang batiin lahat kayo ng Father's Day, at lalong-lalo ang ating Pangulo na tatay ng ating bayan, no? And alam niyo naman po ang tatay eh. Ang tatay gagawin lahat para sa kanyang anak. And I'm sure here, DSWD wants to do everything for their children. But hindi naman po tayo pare-pareho ng kakayahan eh. I was with the President when he listened to all the scientists and all the doctors. Bakit? Eh kami ni Presidente, abogado kami. Hindi naman kami doktor eh. So pagdating sa health crisis, nakinig kami sa kanila. I don't know ang DSWD, kanino kayo nakinig? sa pagdidistribute na ganyan. E expert ang mga taga-Congress, expert ang governor at mayor at barangay sa pag-iikot dyan. Like the President, Congress also wants what is best for our kababayans, not just giving the immediate help that they need now, but in making sure that they recover and will be able to help themselves tomorrow. We need to give them fish, yung po yung social amelioration. But we also have to teach them how to fish in the new and better normal. Diyan po papasok naman yung coordination ng DSWD sa PESDA, sa DOLE, hindi naman sa inyo lahat yan. But that goes to four piece. In the last administration, sinabi ko na sa huling secretary, Secretary Dinky, at nakinig. Sabi ko, ma'am, ano ba ang four piece? Pantawid. Gusto ba natin makatawid lang tao? Gusto natin umaman? Eh gusto natin makaangat. Yung pantawid is the first step. So sabi ko, why don't you link them up with the local government? Katulad namin. So you're giving them a few thousand a month. Kami, we will give them scholarship. We will give them livelihood training. We will give them puhunan. Para after a few years, graduate sila, hindi pa na-dole out lang. I've been saying that for the last six years. Ngayon nagka-COVID, pwede nyo naman ibigay sa mayors yung four-piece na listahan. Ayaw nyo ibigay. Nakadelay na naman kayo ng dalawang linggo dahil ayaw nyo ibigay. Sa tagig, tinanong ko sa kapatid ko, Mayor Lino, anong ginawa mo? E di inilista ko kuya lahat ng ilista, tapos binigay ko sa DSWD, anong ginawa nila? E di tinanggal nila yung sa four-piece, o e di nalaman mo rin kung sinong four-piece. Sumulat pa kami sa inyo na meron naman data privacy law. So don't you think that if the mayors can coordinate with the four-piece, mas na makakatulong ito? Diba? But you ignored our advice on it. 
And okay lang kung tama kayo. Eh, mali kayo eh. Nakabilay na nga ng two weeks. Mas nahihirapan ngayon yung sa four-piece. Karamihan to na sa four-piece, walang pambiling tablet yan. Sa blended learning. Kasi nga yan yung poorest of the poor eh. Eh kung may listahan na sana yung mga LGUs ngayon, I heard you're giving some, but some wala pa rin. Di sana na, na compute na nila kung paano i-purchase to. It is sad that amid this and many of these challenges and opportunities, not just in government no, and not just in the lives and livelihoods of people, we see that in our everyday, yung hinuhugot natin strength and inspiration ng ating kababayan is in God, is in prayer, in each other. And let me just say that this is true activism. Activism at the truest and finest form is when we make a difference, not by tearing down things, but finding ways to fix things and building something that is better. Anyone here in this hall is free to criticize. Pero ang instructions po namin sa amin sarili, constructive criticism. Feel the same way po.